many people in the world who see the value in weeds. They are tenacious, growing and spreading everywhere, especially where we don't want them. Weeds are largely seen as more of a nuisance than beneficial. But Uwe Nilsson is one man who loves weeds, especially one particular weed, Arabidopsis, commonly called tailcress. As a matter of fact, he has great hopes for this little plant, as it may contain a vital key in how we can adapt to the challenges of climate change and meet the demands of a rapidly growing world population. All this we have to somehow adapt to and plant breeding and a better understanding of, of how the plants live will be a key in order to succeed with this. In his research, Uwe gets assistance from Arabidopsis, the weed he calls the fruit fly of the plant kingdom. Because like the fruit fly, the Arabidopsis genome has been relatively easy to read and has been completely mapped. This has led to discoveries about plant signal systems and what directs their different cycles. And this knowledge is paving the way for a revolution in breeding, so that in the future we will be able to grow crops that not only provide twice the yield, but which are also adapted to drier climates. This can also lead to engineering trees which grow twice as fast, and thus ensure that our forests eventually replace fossil fuels and oil-based commodities. I've always been fascinated by life and it's all its different forms, from the bacteria to the fungi to the plants and the animals, and try to understand what is life, how does it work, how can they go on living and evolve like they have. This is something that I find extremely fascinating. Uwe had this interest from an early age, and in both middle and high school, he worked as a field biologist. After high school, the choice for further studies was obvious, and Uwe went on to study biology at the university in Gothenburg. But at the same time, in the 80s, there was a huge leap made in molecular biology when scientists were able for the first time to identify genes in plants. Before they had used molecular biology to study the genes and the gene function in uh, bacteria and in animals, to some extent in humans, but now, in the mid-80s, they really started to apply this also to plants. And I saw that this is something completely new and something very exciting. So then I decided to try to specialize in that area. Uwe was enthralled and changed his major to a PhD in molecular biology at SLU in Umeå, and chose to do his postdoctorate at one of the world's leading institutions in the field, the Salk Institute in San Diego, California. Then, after three years, he went home again, but with new discoveries in his bag, quite literally. I brought with me a small vial like this, containing the FT gene that had just been explored. And uh, with this gene, we could make some completely new discoveries. What Uwe and his colleagues discovered at the Salk Institute of Molecular Biology was the gene in the Arabidopsis germplasm, which controlled flowering. And once home, Uwe continued breaking new ground. He experimented with transferring Arabidopsis FT gene, which only takes a few weeks to bloom, into an aspen, with sensational results. This aspen, which usually takes 10 to 15 years to flower, began sending out shoots and buds in just two months. Another astonishing and totally unexpected result was that the aspen continued to grow despite the lab's environment being set to an autumn climate in which the tree would normally have gone to sleep. It's now known that the aspen's own FT gene not only controls flowering, but also when the tree will stop growing and even budding in the fall. Uwe had developed a tree that not only bloomed earlier, but also grew very quickly. And it's here at the Plant Science Center in Umeå that this unique plant breeding continues. It's the 
Den här dörren går inte att öppna förrän den där dörren är stängd. Och hela byggnaden här inne står under undertryck. Vilket gör att det inte ska kunna sippra ut någonting genom sprickor i konstruktionen och sånt. Vi har en extra hög takhöjd i det här växthuset också. Vi får inte ta ut de här träden normalt sett. The ability to transfer the Arabidopsis FT gene will make tree breeding hugely effective. Where it usually takes 10 to 15 years for a tree to bloom, while the breeder patiently waits, now we're talking about it only taking a few months, or at most, a few years instead. When this technique was used on plum trees, the trees gave fruit in just a few months, instead of what would normally take over 10 years. And at, at this size, they also start to produce real plums. So they can breed for fruit quality and go through one generation per year, instead of before, one generation every 10 years or so. So the breeding program is 10 times faster than it was before. But Uwe himself is not focused on fruit processing. He is pouring his energy into one of Sweden's most important raw materials. What we are studying is Norway spruce now. That is the most important tree in Sweden, both from an ecological and an economical uh, point of view. If you manage to trigger the FT gene in the same way in spruce and other conifers, it would shorten the maturation process from between 20 to 25 years to just a few years. We are going to need these technologies in order to make even more efficient food production. We need to produce even more food on even less land than today. And in order to get new renewable products from forestry where we can produce renewable materials, renewable energy, renewable biofuels, renewable chemicals, in order to get rid of our dependency on fossil fuels and materials and products based on, on fossil fuels. Now we really have to start working on creating a sustainable society based on the production of renewable resources and plant breeding and the knowledge of the inner life of the, of the plant is going to be key for our abilities to do that. And all of this thanks to a small weed called Arabidopsis.